Hey guys, this is Tor from TC here with the amazing Derek Sirinian at your studio, Beachwood Manor. That's Beachwood right. Manor Studios. What's up, my friend? It's been Good a long time. Again. Actually, it wasn't that long ago. It was actually no, about a I'm month sure. ago. We Are we going to buy uh, a house here? No, yeah. you, you seem like you're a I local would, now. I, I wouldn't mind that, actually. I it's think it'd way, be great. way nicer here. You'd than be welcome. <laughs> so, yeah, when I was here in... Uh, in December, I kind of showed you a couple of pedals and stuff, and it wasn't quite ready to do tone prints, but we right. we do we are now. So we've done one for the new uh, Hall of Fame too. Very cool. Um, reverb wise, I had a vision of um, listening to when I was a kid. I listened to the Van Halen one record on the cassette player in the car, and if one of the speakers was blown you would only hear the reverb. Yep. And so I guess that was because when they mixed it, they panned it all the way hard right or yep. hard left or yep. whatever, then the other side was this reverb. And I don't know what kind of reverb it was, but I always thought it sound bitchin' because if both speakers were working, that reverb is part of the tone. Yep. Even though it's panned all the way here, it's still part of the thing. Yeah. So I always was wondering, uh, how to get that reverb sound. So that'd be bitching to have on, on this tone because I'm, I have all these eddy pedals that I'm using and I have like this, um, this patch that's It's like Eddie and Randy in one. Great stuff, man. Love it. So yeah, and I really like the fact that you get these, uh, almost these kind of palm muted things going. When you yeah, it's cool. It's, it's just very Van Halen inspired. When yeah. I was a kid and I heard that Van Halen one record for the first time, the way he approached the guitar, I, it was just like, it hit me that you can not only just play, but you can put your personality into your instrument yeah. by having these little isms and things about your style that no one else does. So when you hear uh, Ed Van Halen, you know who it is because of the way he yeah. plays. Yeah. And I wanted as a keyboard player, I wanted that to be of uh, the most importance that I had a signature sound and style. It's, yeah. It wasn't as important to me to have the most technique. I mean, there's people in every city in the world that can, you know, outplay me in scales and uh, stuff like that. Yeah. But 
most people do not have a signature sound, keyboard mm. players. And so I, I definitely do. And I'm very, uh, it's because of that Van Halen mentality. I mean, obviously the reverb is a big part of that. And you talked about hearing that it's a plate reverb that he used on that first album. Yeah. Um, and having and it was like a really expensive plate reverb. Yeah, like you can't get them anymore. So we worked really hard to get that sound. Well, it sounds great. And one of the one of the fun things about it is actually if you listen to the to the original album, um, the pre delay on the reverb is crazy long. It's almost like there's a slapback on there. And I what, what I think works really well for that, and it works great here as well, is the fact that when you play all these fast eddyisms and, and stuff like that. You still hear the notes. The reverb kind of comes in a little after that, so there's there's room for all the you know for all the playing and the, the so that That's I think great. That I love it. So what do you think we should call it? Let's call it uh, VH 1978. Well, that's perfect. I'm sure there's a lot of guitar players as well as keyboard players, but a lot of guitar players who would really dig that sound because obviously you know. No, Eddie it's great. Really uh, we got to give a tribute to Big yeah. Ed. I mean, he really changed. Um, he really changed the game. Yeah, definitely. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure.